when you pray, pray thus, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And what work have you done? O you with eyes to see and ears to hear, and minds to understand, to soften that most precious of God's gifts, your heart, your heart which wishes to soar, what work have you done to free it from the bonds in which it finds itself? What work have you done to loosen these bonds, to massage its pains away? What work have you done to open this heart to free its very core from the prison it finds itself in. What work have you done? Let God's words upon your ears or in your mind should you read them. give you this chance each and every moment to free this heart, this sacred heart, so that it may do what it was always meant to do, to pour forth love. And this love Sometimes it shall be shown by healing. Sometimes it shall be shown by feeding. Sometimes it shall be shown by saying to another, I understand. Sometimes it shall be shown by seeking the highest wisdom. Sometimes it shall be shown by following it. And this highest love the highest of all highest loves. Is always aligned with God. Feel your heart pour out. O children of God. Allow it to be the temple within you that no one can take, that no confusion can deceive you of. Let this heart pour out like water over the top of a waterfall. with light pouring through such water, pouring through such cascades, creating gorgeous rainbow colors, all variety of colors, through this outpouring of the heart such that all of God's light may be shown and the beauty of his creation be reflected within you and out towards others. Whose heart do you hold within you? It is yours, but it is God's. And 
and everyone's heart is God's heart. For this reason should you love your neighbor as yourself. Ease. Ease your heart. The answers are so simple. Become like a little child. Free of guile. A child who can ease into this love. And allow. Allow the fullness of your heart to speak to your mind knowing that God gives the peace which surpasseth understanding. Ease into this love, like one floating at the bottom of the waterfall. For once you have poured out your love and poured out your heart, the path becomes clear. Do not despair, O oh, you children of God, for his love is always present. Return your mind again and again to wisdom and to love. Such understanding as you may have is merely God's understanding given to you such as your mind and your heart are able to understand it. Therefore, the more you open your heart, the more you shall understand. And the more you open your heart, the more wisdom will arise. And grow like trees at the water's edge. Despair not, children of God, and find comfort in his boundless love, in birth, life, and death. Then you will understand and see that all things are made possible by him. And his wisdom is not to be questioned. Instead, rather, seek within your own heart why you reject it. Why have you become ossified? but even hearts of bone which break heal just as any other bone heals and mends. Therefore, know that even within the hardest of circumstances, his love is there and you are not lost. For your heart has always understood. <laughs>